Hello everyone, my name's Ailabelle, and don't let the title fool you. I'm not changing the characters of Miraculous Ladybug or swapping them out or whatever. Character change is a term used in the manga slash anime Shugokara, in which a person's personality or abilities are slightly altered by their guardian character without committing to a full character transformation. Now, if you're confused by what I just said, then you haven't seen the 2007 manga slash anime Shugokara. If that's the case, then you absolutely should see and or read it because it's super good, and it very likely inspired Miraculous Ladybug. I already have two videos on my channel in which I discuss their probable connection ever so thoroughly, and you should totally check those out as well. To my returning viewers, yes, this is another Shugokara Miraculous Ladybug themed video. However, this time, I won't add to the list of ways Miraculous shamelessly mirrored Shugokara. No, this time I'm leaning into the idea that if Miraculous wants to take so many pages from Shugokara's book, why not take it a step further? What if the Kwamis and Miraculous Ladybug had the ability to do a Shugokara style character change with their holders? What would that look like? To provide an example of a character change, I will refer to the protagonist of Shugokara, Amu Hinamori. Amu initially has three small floating fairy-like creatures called Shugokara, or guardian characters. Shugokara, in general, are born from a person's desire to be their true self, or who they want to be and are capable of being, but something's currently inhibiting that. Anyway, Amu's Shugokara, Ron, Miki, and Sue, all have different personalities and talents. Ron is spunky and athletic, Miki is cool and artistic, and Sue is gentle and has great domestic skills. When Amu character changes, the characteristics of her Shugokara are reflected onto her. So, when she character changes with Ron, she becomes more athletic and more outgoing. When she character changes with Miki, her artistic skills increase, and when she character changes with Sue, her cooking and cleaning skills improve. Unlike character transformation, which is the full magical girl ensemble with the outfit change, glitter, and magical villain fighting powers, character change is really mostly surface level and the only visible difference is like an accessory gets added to the person. Like when Amu character changes, her hair clip changes into the shape that represents the Shukokara that influenced her. So a heart, a spade, or a clover. Does all of that make sense? I hope so. In the case of Miraculous Ladybug, the way I see it, a true character change wouldn't translate as well story-wise because, honestly, who cares if Marinette gets Tiki's personality or if Alia acted more like Trix? Actually, some hilarity could ensue as that would be chaotic if characters inherited their Kwame's personalities. Like, imagine if Natalie and Gabriel had their Kwame's personalities. Tell me that wouldn't be funny. But no, that wouldn't have much use in Miraculous' story, so when I say character change in this context, I mean a slight ability boost or a watered-down version of their superpower that can be accessed as a civilian without transforming into a hero. Or villain. What exactly inspired the content of this video? Well, aside from the obvious Shigokara Miraculous Ladybug connection, I noticed something peculiar when reading through the plot of Ephemeral on the Miraculous Ladybug wiki. Why am I reading the wiki? because I absolutely refuse to watch the show. If you want any context, check out my playlist of Miraculous Ladybug videos. Anyway, in Ephemeral, I read that Gabriel's Miraculous glowed to alert him that someone was having a negative emotion for him to exploit. Um, what? Since when can the Miraculous accessories themselves do anything like that? The accessories have special abilities outside of transformation? What? How come no one else gets a fancy civilian form ability? This also has some interesting implications regarding Gabriel and his Miraculous, such as why this ability isn't going off every moment of every day, considering a city populated with millions of people would have millions of negative emotions. Why does this Miraculous pick and choose who to hone in on? How does it pick and choose? In fact, in general, it shouldn't be hard for Hawk Moth to find people with negative emotions. I don't know why he sits lurking in his lair so much when it should take no longer than five minutes to find someone. In fact, if he's so determined to reach his goal, you'd think he'd akumatize at least 10 people a day, if not more than that. Hawk Moth could be so much more of a threat if the writers allowed him to be. They could even throw in a storyline about Gabriel going crazy because he has to sift through millions of negative emotions every day. Maybe that's how his sanity and good judgment decline since he never takes the miraculous off. And then near the end, he's so close to ripping his own brain out that Natalie takes over as Hawk Moth to relieve him, and when she inevitably loses, she tries to tell everyone that she was Hawk Moth the whole time, but Gabriel doesn't let her take the fall and admits his crimes and ultimately goes to jail, while also getting some intense therapy treatments to undo all of the mental torture he went through while wearing the Butterfly Miraculous, while also slowly rebuilding his relationship with his son. I don't know. Just seems like a massive oversight and missed opportunity to me. So that whole thing got me thinking, what would it look like if all Miraculous users had some type of ability they could access, even if they didn't transform? What would happen if they had a character change? Let's explore some possibilities. But before we do that, please show me your true self by pressing that like button so that this video can spread to more people. If you've made it this far, comment with a lock or key emoji or type unlock. Thank you.
Remember, character changes in this context are low-level usages of the Kwame's power and are used in the user's civilian forms and thus no transformation is needed. As long as they were the miraculous, these abilities can be used for short durations. A character change will be represented on the person by a physical characteristic that represents the Kwame. And since this is a what-if scenario, I haven't decided if these physical characteristics are literal and can be seen by anyone, can only be seen by other miraculous users, or if they are just metaphorical and are just drawn on the person to show the audience that a character change happened. I'll let you all decide. Okay, so for the Ladybug Miraculous, a character change could consist of the bearer having increased creative skills, artistic or otherwise. This also increases problem-solving skills. The physical attribute would be red antennae that pop up from the person's head. For the Black Cat Miraculous, a character change could consist of the bearer either having bad luck or accidentally breaking whatever is touched. It's not total annihilation like with Cataclysm, it's literally like if you touch a computer, the computer would instantly just stop working or would break apart. The physical attribute would be black cat ears that pop up from the person's head. For the Butterfly Miraculous, a character change would allow you to touch someone and know exactly how they're feeling. It's like super empathy. The physical attribute would be a purple spiral that appears in the middle of the person's forehead. For the Peacock Miraculous, you'd be able to touch random items and instantly sense how the last person who touched that item was feeling. The physical attribute would be three feathers that pop up from the top middle of the person's head. The Fox Miraculous's character change is kind of difficult to conceptualize, but let's give it a go. It would allow the bearer to touch someone and it would either make that person dizzy or make them hallucinate. The physical attribute would be fox ears that pop up from the person's head. The turtle miraculous would allow the bearer to have one part of their body be protected by a force field, such as only above the head or only in front of the body, etc. The physical attribute would be a green antenna that pops up from the top middle of the person's head. The Bee Miraculous's character change would allow the bearer to paralyze any part of the body they touch. So if they, say, touch someone's arm, the arm goes limp for maybe a minute or two. The physical attribute would be black antennae that pop up from the person's head. The Rabbit Miraculous's character change would allow the bearer to get random visions of the past or possible futures. Or it would allow the bearer to touch an item or person and they can see the past 24 hours or the future 24 hours from the perspective of that person or item. I don't know which would be better. The physical attribute would be white bunny ears that pop up from the person's head. The Snake Miraculous's character change gives the bearer the power of intuition in which they have a vague feeling that something might happen and they can act accordingly. The physical attribute would be fangs that appear in the person's mouth. The Horse Miraculous's character change is also a bit tricky, but perhaps it'll allow the bearer to either create portals no bigger than the width of someone's arm, or it would allow the bearer to teleport non-living objects just by touching them. The physical attribute would be horse ears that pop up from the person's head. The Dragon Miraculous's character change could be an effect on the bearer's body depending on the bearer's emotional state. Anger would make the body temperature super hot, sadness would make it super cold, and nervous or anxious emotions would make them conduct static electricity. The physical attribute would be a skinny dragon tail that shoots out from the person's tailbone. The Monkey Miraculous would allow the bearer to confuse or make dizzy whoever they touch. Yes, I know, this sounds eerily similar to the Fox Miraculous's character change, but again, it's kind of hard to translate some of these Miraculous into, you know, character changes, so you know, I'm working with what I got, guys. Anyway, the physical attribute would be a skinny monkey tail that shoots out from the person's tailbone. The Mouse Miraculous's character change would allow the bearer to either shrink a non-living object to maybe up to 20 or 50% smaller, or would allow the bearer to multiply their limbs, but maybe only two extra at a time. I don't know which would be better. The physical attribute would be Mouse ears that pop up from the person's head. The pig miraculous would allow the bearer to touch anyone and instantly make that person feel happier. Not like tremendously happier, just happier. The physical attribute would be pig ears that pop up from the person's head. The tiger miraculous's character change would increase the power of the bearer's punch or pushing ability but only in one hand. Like, nowhere near the destructive power of clout but easily able to knock out the world's toughest fighter in one punch. The physical attribute would be tiger ears that pop up from the person's head. The Dog Miraculous's character change would allow the bearer to find whatever object they touch. Even if the object is lost, the bearer would be able to locate it. And just to be clear, this isn't the item being teleported to the person, like when they transform. This is the person just knowing where the object is and they have to go physically get it themselves. The physical attribute would be dog ears that pop up from the person's head. The Rooster Miraculous's character change would allow the bearer to have improved ability in whatever skill they choose for, I don't know, half an hour, let's say. No superpowers, just regular abilities like building, playing sports, playing an instrument, etc. The physical attribute would be a rooster comb on their head. The Goat Miraculous's character change would allow the bearer to build or draw any object, within reason. The physical attribute would be a large black spot that appears over the person's right eye. And finally, the Ox Miraculous's character change would allow the bearer to have increased bodily defense. The bearer can't take 
every attack ever, but mundane pains wouldn't hurt them, such as getting punched, having a flying soccer ball hit them in the head, falling out of an average-sized tree, and so on and so forth. The physical attribute would be a skinny blue tail that shoots out from the person's tailbone. Oh my goodness, there are so many miraculouses. You know, I think I might be in the camp that there are too many of them that play a part in the show. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, that'll probably be the discussion of a future video. In any case, those are my general ideas for what Shikokara-style character changes in Miraculous Ladybug would look like. Do you think these would make the show more interesting? Why or why not? Do you have different ideas for character changes? Comment below and let's get this conversation started. But as for now, that's all there is. There isn't any more.